everyone, thank you for tuning in. This is your instructor Joy. Today we're going to talk about how we could practice most efficiently using our time um, to the maximum use so that we can get better quickly. We all have 24 hours a day. We all try to practice as much as we can, but some goes further than the other. It often has to do with having proper practicing technique, knowing how to use the limited time wisely and efficiently. So we're going to talk about that one. I'll be also making a related video. Uh, we'll be posting on my Patreon page. I encourage you to check it out. And thank you very much for always for your kind questions, comments, and sending me donations, booking lessons with me. Uh, that truly means the world to me and I really, really appreciate. So I'm going to give you five common mistakes in practicing that I see among my um, students in my teaching studio which will give you a little guidance and hopefully you can correct your practicing and then use every single minute more efficiently so that you can become better balanced quicker and sooner with less work. That's all what we want. Number one common mistake that I see. Endless repetition without listening. It is true, sometimes we play, it didn't work and we want to try again and try again and try again. This is all of us, we get caught up with that one. If you have tried it twice or three times and none of them worked, it's time to stop. Change something and listen. R repeating over and over, if it doesn't work by third time, you really need to stop and change start something. Sometimes playing slowly, sometimes getting smaller sections of practicing. Yeah? And Sometimes you don't repeat the same passages over and over, but it's playing from beginning to the end, playing from beginning to the end, and over and over. Just your ears are somewhere else sometimes, <laughs> your mind travels, and then that happens to all of us. Um, you know, you have to understand whatever you do with your muscle, whether your mind, your ears are there or not, muscle will collect all the muscle memory and it will represent at the wrong time. So you have to understand that whatever you do with your muscle, it will be saved and therefore will be played. So when, whenever you play, make sure your ears are wide open and you listen carefully every single note and your concentration should be there. Sometimes even when you try to listen, we cannot tell. Then sometimes the audio recording and then listening to your playing can be helpful too. Common mistake number two, sticking to a rigid practicing schedule. I have a great respect for people who have a very strict schedule. Say Monday I practice from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Tuesday I practice from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. whatever or every day I want to practice three hours, weekend five hours. Good for you. That's certainly a good way. But you have to understand we're not a machine. Let's say you want to stick to the certain time amount whether two hours or ten minutes days of a certain practicing schedule but let's say you start practicing your concentration is not quite there you can't you seems like you're not solving the problems much it seems like you after trying 20 minutes 30 minutes 40 minutes still not quite there and then instead of finishing two hours three hours or whatever rigid schedule that you had in mind be strong just to fold it and just do something else. Meaning, change the repertoire of practicing or just go take a nap. Taking a short power nap of 15 minutes and then having refreshed mind and with a great concentration is much more beneficial than just pulling it through with a tired brain, without thinking, without listening throughout the practice session. Of course, Having sometimes it takes a little time for us to build certain practicing routine and sometimes we have to push ourselves too and I have to do that to myself too. But um, if we we have to know how to balance those, yeah, instead of sticking to I want to practice today so and so hours, instead of that, try to have a certain task. I want to finish this passage, I want to so solve certain problem. I want to do memorize certain skills, I want to work on certain bow technique. Have a little task what you want to finish. If you finish it earlier than you planned certain amount of hours, great. If it didn't and you still want to work on more and your concentration is still there, go for it. So understand
understand that we're we are a biological being. We're not, mach not a machine. So work with your body. Work with your brain. Yeah. Allow it to take a little break and then come back to that one. Now, common mistake number three: practicing always in the same order. Now. All of us, all, a lot of instructors, including myself, give a little guidance what to practice. Warm up with a scale, practice a little etude and a repertoire pieces, and so on. That's a guideline. But you have to understand, if you always play with it, if you always start practicing with the same scale, or scale, and an arpeggio, etude, a study piece, repertoire, and da 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 da, repertoire one, repertoire two, da 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 da, and then, you have to understand our attention span is different. Some people need a little time to warm up for the brain. So their best concentration is maybe a, a third way through. Or some people um, have a best concentration at the beginning of practicing session. Some people at the end. Understand when you have the best concentration in your practicing session. And also understand your pieces that you're working on, whether it's a scale, etude, or repertoire pieces and see what's the worst part, what needs the most work. Whatever needs the most work has to be put where you have the best concentration of the practicing session. And the fun part, you know, you know you play very well but it's fun to play, should be placed in the practicing session where you have the less concentration, where you don't need that much alert mind. Yeah. Of course, in a perfect world, we, if we can have all great concentration from beginning to the end, that would be great, but we all know that's not the case. So understand when you have the best concentration in your practicing session, and then know what part of your pieces that you're practicing needs the most work so that you know you can match that one. That leads to number four common mistake. Fail to categorize types of practicing, meaning, Practicing does not mean always playing as it's written, as it's printed. Um, so, we want to practice. What kind of practicing do we need? Are we practicing technicalities, meaning intonation, or bow technique, or t sound control? Or are we working on musicalities, interpretation, how you want to express? Or are we practicing how to perform, meaning not stopping and redoing, but learn to play from beginning to the end. So categorize these three different kinds of practicing. Are we practicing technique? Are we practicing on musicality? Are we practicing performance? Once you decide that one, and you have to practice in certain way, meaning do not mix each one. When you're practicing techniques, you cannot perform, try to play through, see if it works, or here and there, have fun. No. When you're practicing technique, really stick to the small amount that you're working on and really focus that one. Don't worry about making music or playing it through. It's a technique only. If you're working on interpretation or musicality, this is time to listen to different recordings, get an idea. You don't even sometimes have to have a violin with you, but you need to be really active with your brain. Sing out loud with your voices, see what it makes, makes sense, or try it on the violin. Compare different ideas from the great players. And then if you like somebody's playing, why do you like it? What is so special about it? You can get a hint from other players or come up with your own ideas. Whatever it is, different ideas are as important as technical master. Uh, if somebody plays perfectly, technically perfect, but without any ideas, it can be super boring. If somebody plays with great ideas but cannot play any note in tune, it's also hard to listen. Technicality and inter musicality are equally important. And also performance is as important because if one practices all these things but does not know how to play through from beginning to the end without falling apart, that doesn't do much. So make sure you categorize these three different types of practicing and stick to it when you practice. Last one, common mistake number five in practicing that I see is fail to pinpoint the exact problem and prioritize. Um, sometimes when I play and then when I ask my students, so what do you think? What's good? What is not good? Or oh, oh, everything is wrong. 
I mean, sometimes we feel like they do it. Now, I, I understand. I, I'm, I feel like they do sometimes too. But we have to keep our head very cool. Keep your head very cool, cool and then see exactly where is a problem. Of course, everything could be better, but exactly where, Pin, uh, like pencil mark it and analyze what kind of problem is it. Sometimes we say, well, it's just sound is wrong, intonation is wrong. Okay, if sound is wrong, what problem is it? Are we using wrong, wrong bow stroke or are we placing the bow in the wrong spot? Is it has to do with the sounding point or do we change the bowing slurs and so on? If the intonation is wrong, what causes a wrong intonation? Is it a shifting problem? Are we extending finger? Or when you do string crossings with a left hand, is my left arm not positioned right? Really analyze exactly what problem is and work on that. And once you analyze, once you pinpointed each problem, then prioritize what's the, the part that needs the most work. And the part that needs the most work has to be on top of the priority. Start with that, ending with the least needed part. Yeah? So efficient practicing is so, so, so important. It takes great effort, it takes great discipline, and a little of planning too. Yeah? Understand every day's practicing changes depending what previous practice session was. So be flexible, listen to your body, and always be aware how your mind works and whether you are listening. Yeah? I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and hope to see you again. Bye bye.